Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Sandeep from Tutorial Brain and in this video lesson I'm going to show some of you, in fact uh, not some of you, I mean all of you, I'm going to show all of you about some important extensions on brackets code editor if you're using bootstrap. Before we get started, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell icon. So if I just go to this extension manager and I'll just type the first important extension which is bootstrap starter template. So I'll just type here bootstrap starter and you see that this particular extension is bootstrap starter template and I have already installed this particular extension. So what it will do is it will just create a new bootstrap template file. So if I just close this and now if you just go to file here you should have an option of new bootstrap template. So still it is not visible. So that means let me just reload the bracket with all the extensions again. And if I just go to my file now I should have an option. Yes, you see here it gives me an option that is new bootstrap template and the shortcut is control alt b in case if you're working on windows right so if i just click that option you see that it has created a standard template for bootstrap now this will be the same template if you just go to get bootstrap.com so the benefit what you get here is that you don't have to again go to get bootstrap.com and then you have to download that file so you just use this extension and it will just create a starter template for you, right? Now the next extension which I just want to show you is brackets bootstrap skeleton. Okay, so let me just go to extension manager and I'll just type here bootstrap skeleton and you see that this is the extension which I'm talking about and I have already installed this particular extension. Now I'll just go to install just to verify if I have not accidentally or by mistake I have not disabled it. So I'll just search here boot strap skeleton and yes this particular extension was disabled. So I'll just enable it. Now you see that it shows an option to disable. That means this particular extension is enabled now. So just close this. And what this extension will do is, it will also create a skeleton of bootstrap. So in case if you don't like this bootstrap starter template extension, you can just install this extension and you can just create a skeleton of bootstrap. So let me just create a file here. Let me just give here, for example, say uh, test123.html, okay. And here, what I'll do is, I'll just go to edit and I will be having an option of new bootstrap document, right? So if I just click here, uh, you see that it has created this particular template. So these two extensions are very good. Now why I have suggested two extensions for the same purpose is because sometimes say this extension is causing an issue, then you can just use this extension. Or in case if this extension is causing any issue in your code editor, you can just install this particular extension. Now the next extension which we have is ACB bootstrap snippets. So I'll just search here ACB bootstrap snippets. So this extension is also installed in my uh, brackets code editor. So by default it will not be installed. In fact you have to install it right. So you see that this is the extension which I'm talking about and what I do is normally whatever extension which I don't use. I normally disable it. So that is the reason I would have disabled this. So let me just enable it back. Okay. Now you don't have to do all these steps that that is you don't have to enable or disable. If you are installing this for the first time, you just have to click on install. That's it. And then you can directly use that extension. Now this ACB bootstrap snippets, what it will do is it will just give you the bootstrap related snippets. So in that way, you don't have to code the entire bootstrap coding by yourself. 
you just have to give some snippets and it will automatically create the code for you so what i mean is uh, say i am in this particular location right and say i just have to create another button so if i just give here say for example bs3 you see that it has given me lot of options right if i just give b and again you see that it has given everything related to bs3b and if i just give u you see that it has given me all the other options for example button button danger button default and so on say if i just want to create a button i'll just select the first one or if i just create a danger button i'll just click here and it will automatically give me this particular code right now let me just show you so if i just save this file okay so let me just save this file as untitled1.html because i don't want to change the name here and let me just give a live preview just to show you how this actually works so you see that it has created this button this is the danger button and let me do one thing i'll just change the name here so uh, if i just say here for example click me right so let me just save it or if i just go to live preview you see that now it has changed to click me right so this is how you can use this particular acb snippet so this is one of my favorite snippets if i am working with bootstrap and one important thing here to note that if i just come here and if i just give bs4 you notice that this particular snippet does not work on bootstrap 4 if i just give bs3 you see that it has given all the snippets related to bootstrap 3 so if you are working on bootstrap 4 then i would suggest you another plugin and that is called rch bootstrap 4 snippets so let me just come here and i'll just show you it is rch bootstrap 4 snippets this is the particular extension i am talking about so just click on install and just close this and now say if you want to use bootstrap 4 you just have to type here bs4 and you see that it has given everything related to bootstrap 4 now suppose in this case if i just want to create a danger button so let me just click on that and if i just save it and let me just go to my browser you see that this particular button is already there right so in case if you need bootstrap 3 then you can just use acb bootstrap snippets and for bootstrap 4 you can use rch bootstrap 4 snippets right so these four are good extensions and the last extension which i'm going to show you is brackets css class code hint so i'll just go here and i'll just search brackets css class code hint so this particular extension i'm talking about that is brackets css class code hint and the author of this particular extension is growl script but what i can see is that uh, the author is not supporting this extension now so it is not a very good idea to use this extension because at this moment this extension is not getting supported by the author but some of the developers they are still using this uh, extension and that is the reason i just wanted to show you so this is also a good extension in case if you want a hinting mechanism for css classes so these all extensions are good for brackets and if you want to know more about brackets extensions for bootstrap you can just go to our site that is tutorial brain text editor and then brackets bootstrap and here you can see all the brackets extensions for bootstrap now if you want to know all the brackets extension so you might be aware that you have to go to brackets extensions right and all these uh, important brackets extensions we have listed in our website here so in case if you want to read it you can just come here or if you're not interested in reading you can just watch our tutorial on brackets extension so all right thanks for joining and i'll see you in our next video lesson leave a comment below if you have any question i will try to answer it so thanks for watching it make sure you like comment and subscribe take care bye